and welcome to the final experiment we've got this week. It's another exciting one, fair bit of colour in this one. And I want to say to everybody, thank you very much. It's been great to learn with you as we're going along. I've learned a fair bit. I know I've had a few people send in some of the experiments to show me what they've looked like at home. As I said, you'll still be waiting to see how many people could get that pencil through the bag from yesterday. Hopefully you got a good laugh out of that one. But today all we need is milk, washing detergent, some colouring dye. So be careful, again at home, if you spill that, it goes everywhere and you know it stains everything. But we want some contrasting colours and we need some cotton tips as well. We're going to soak up. I've got the uh, detergent already in a glass. Quite simply. Are we ready? So, we pour some milk into here. Now milk is mostly, mostly made up of water, but it's got some fats and some minerals and proteins. Those fats and proteins and everything are held in because of the molecules around them. Pretty exciting stuff I know, but they will and can separate. So what we do is we get our colour, thought I'd already spilt it then, just a tiny, tiny bit of colour, and this is where we want, let's see how good and steady the hand is. Oh, and you'll notice it sort of stays together where it is and it will stay in its single spot. This is why we're trying to use some of the contrasting colors. Jeez, it's, makes it hard, doesn't it? Bit of blue, bit of red, oh, nearly. Bit of red, looks pretty cool in there so far. Bit of yellow, I think it's yellow, we'll find out in a minute. There we go, that is yellow. And you'll see it basically stays as it is in there. And this is where the entertainment should start. When we get our oil, and you can see how cool is that. So we just get a little bit of the oil, drip it in, and it starts to separate the fats. When it separates the fats, you can see it starts to go everywhere. And that's what separates the color in there. So all it does is a little touch of when you get the oil on, just a tiny little touch and you'll see it starts to separate. Well, I didn't work that one. And as we do it, and you can see it start to separate from the fats in there. And the more you put in there, the more you'll start to see the colors move around. And as they start to move and separate, they'll mix in and they'll make these really cool patterns. So, there you have it. There's our final experiment for the week. Thanks again, we've really enjoyed it. We hope you've got something out of it. We're gonna to have to find something else to be a bit more entertaining for next week as we're gonna be locked down again. We wanna find something to entertain you. So give us some ideas, share us some links. Let's find if there's other experiments or other things we can do to keep us all entertained. Thanks for joining us again.